Hello friends and fans of EVGA, and today we're going to be talking about fully modular, semi-modular, and non-modular power supplies, and what the differences between those are. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here on a non-modular power supply. Uh, this is pulled from one of our Hadron cases, that's why it's kind of a different size. Uh, a non-modular power supply means that every power supply cable that uh, connects to your components, whether that be your motherboard, graphics card, or hard drive, is already connected to that power supply. And they're non-modular in the sense that they do not disconnect uh, from the power supply in any way. These are permanently attached, um, meaning that you always have the cables that you need in your build, but if your build doesn't use all the cables, maybe this power supply has enough connectors for three graphics cards, but you only run one graphics card, um, it means that you have extra cables in your computer and potentially a little bit of extra mess. Um, the one modular cable that will always be on any of our power supplies is going to be the power or the wall cable. Um, this is a standard three pin plug. Uh, basically it's an IEC 320 plug. Um, and this allows us to sell the same unit worldwide just with different wall cables. Uh, moving on to the semi-modular unit, um, this is more convenient uh, in that it will have enough connectors for any component in your system, um, but it only comes hardwired in this case on this PQ unit uh, with a motherboard cable. Um, all the other cables are modular, i.e. they plug in here. Uh, there are plugs that allow you to add in, say, one graphics card or two graphics cards or even three or more. Um, same with SATA power devices or your Molex power devices. Uh, basically, it cuts down all the cable clutter. Um, makes it so that you can run your system with just the cables that you need um, and it'll have hardwired the ones that you know you'll need like this motherboard 24 pin power cable. This is an ATX power supply so you're always going to need this 24 pin cable. Uh, so that's why that is hardwired. The next option here is the fully modular uh, power supply where every cable including that motherboard cable and here it is right here disconnected. Um, is not connected to that power supply and is modular. So any cable can be disconnected. Now, what's the advantage of that? Well, one simple one is if you ever need to pull the unit out, say you want to dust the fan, it's getting really dusty, um, you can just disconnect everything and pull the unit out. Um, so much easier than having to try to disconnect this from the motherboard and try to reroute it from your system. You can just pull the unit out uh, really easy if you're trying to swap in and out. Maybe you need to get a different power supply in here. You can move it in there with the same cables. Uh, another advantage is that if you're doing a custom build uh, where you want individually sleeved cables, uh, you can do that. So maybe you don't like how these standard cables look and you want something that looks a little cooler, maybe it's got a different color that matches your build, you can replace all the cables. Last thing is, if you ever were to have an issue with your cables, say you had a cable fray uh, for any reason, exposed wire, something that makes it dangerous, instead of replacing the entire unit, you can replace just the cable. So typically uh, in most setups and certainly in, in, the way that we, um, in the way that we market our products, uh, the fully modular tend to be the higher end products, the more expensive ones, the semi-modular kind of in between, and then the entry level stuff is typically your non-modular uh, power supplies. Um, so that's typically what you'll find too if you're buying a computer from you know, an OEM, you go out there and you buy your new desktop computer from Best Buy um, and it just has some power supply in it. It's probably a non-modular power supply. That's pretty common. Uh, and then when you're doing custom builds, that's when you start to see these semi-modular and full modular power supplies. Um, so certainly, uh, hopefully that clarifies that a little bit more for you. Um, we cover every market sector with our power supplies. So anything that you want, any budget that you have, uh, we should be able to cover you with our different power supplies. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, we'll have more useful uh, how-tos and questions answered in future videos.